welcome to another video about the Sistema Kardashnikova. Today I will discuss with you the grab to the throat. Dominic, if you would please. In this situation, my opponent has grabbed me by the throat. And this can potentially be a very dangerous situation. Why? Because he is squeezing my throat tight, but also my veins that are alongside of my neck. If he squeezes him tight, I will not remain consciousness for long. And if I do lose consciousness, anything can happen after that, I won't be able to control it. So again, this can be potentially a very dangerous situation. So any solution that I might find, I need to address the hold on my throat first, before I do anything else. Remember from the previous videos that we taught you that we can use the physics principles to make our work more efficient, that I don't need to use my body strength. For in this situation, what I can do is I can use the cross principle and the lever principle in order to grab my opponent at the arms. I do not want to grab it underneath as he would be able to free himself and make the situation worse again. So I want to have a burden on his arm and I want to grab it on the other arm. In this situation, I do not use any strength, but I use my body weight. I move backward and I rotate my arm. In this situation, as you can see, I have a rigid body. I can make a turning point with my arm and I do not use any strength, but I do use the step by step to inert force on a situation. This is a better situation for me when in terms of conflict. I can use my arms, I can use my legs as he can't use his arms or legs or anything else. And in this situation I can manipulate his uh, body as an object in order to better the conflict for me. I can also use the wedge in this situation and the wedge is just like the triangle and that can uh, divert the arms outward by using the triangle in this situation. However, I'm not going to apply it like this. What I can do is I can rotate my arm and I can manipulate it outward. From this situation, I can grab it or grab it from this side and I can use my arms or legs to again better my situation in this conflict. What I can also do is I can apply the console principle and we are again one system. So I can use the cross principle in this situation and give burden in a 45 degree angle from his balance point. What I can also do is I can grab any uh, sensitive areas of the body like the eyes, the nose, the lips or the neck. This will manipulate his stance and that it will be a disbalanced object. When an object is in disbalance, especially with the body, he cannot, uh, he cannot carry a lot of load. So if I add my body weight to this situation, the situation cannot handle it and he will fall down to the ground. And from this situation, I can either kick or make another uh, manipulation in order to end the conflict for me. And how you do that is up to you because anyone in a conflict, uh, the situation can be different and also your profession can be different. So apply force or apply violence in accordance to your situation. Thank you. <coughs> All right, I hope you'll find this information useful. If you do, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you the next time in the next video.